In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create smooth speed ramps in After Effects. And this is a very classic and standard thing to use in After Effects, so I'm uh, excited to show you guys how to create it. And just so you guys know, today I updated my Grunge presets pack on my website, so it's 25 completely new and improved Grunge presets included. And they look absolutely crazy. So if you want to check it out, there's going to be a link in the description down below. Now let's start creating these smooth speed ramps in All After Effects. So we're going to start off by importing in our footage into our project. And I'm using FHD with 24 FPS if you guys want to copy the same composition settings I have. So this is the Dark Thoughts music video by Lil Tech I'm using. And I'm going to find some clips here. I'm going to be making the smooth speed ramp on. So here are my clips I'm going to be applying the smooth speed ramp effect on. So we can start with the first one here. What you're going to be doing here is basically pressing Ctrl Alt T. And that's going to be giving you guys the time remap effect here. And here we're going to be starting off by setting the first keyframe here. So that's basically where we want the video to start at this keyframe. And then we can go to the end and dragging these to the side for a moment. And I wanted to end wherever I cut my uh, clip, basically. So we just make another keyframe here. This is the end keyframe. And then first off, we can select both keyframes, then press F9, then select one of the keyframes, then go to this little graph editor here. And here I get a graph that looks something like this. This is called the speed graph. And we're not going to be using this graph for this smooth uh, speed ramp uh, effect here but you usually use this speed graph for editing position uh, graphs so keep that in note if you guys are editing some uh, position graphs in the future and how to change this now is basically to right click here and then edit value graph instead so now our graph is going to look something like this and here to make a smooth graph here we're going to be dragging this one up like that and this one down like that so this is going to make it fast in the beginning here and then it's going to be slow in the middle a little bit and then faster in the end okay now we got a nice speed to it and i guess you guys could see the next problem we are running into and that is that it's uh, starting to lag now when we play it and how to fix that is basically to press toggle switches and modes and here we have this kind of uh, frame blending function here and if you press this one time we get this frame blending here so it's like a copy uh, frame but it's uh, blended as it says and then if we press one more time we get this frame blending function and this literally blends in the frames uh, warping them together so now it's going to be smooth so this is how it looks and we can obviously make this even more smooth so dragging this one more into the middle this one more into the middle as well or drag it down so it doesn't become that sharp. So we can do something like this. So now it looks very smooth here, like this here. Now you guys can go to the next clip. Okay, here we have the next clip. Press Control alt t again. Keyframe, the first frame, then the keyframe, the last frame as well. And here, you guys don't need to use the like original clip length here. You can move the keyframe like this. So if we move it here, it's going to be much faster like this looks a little bit stupid now but just so you guys get the point so we can maybe drag it down like that then cut the uh, layer by pressing ctrl shift d delete it then mark the keyframes press f9 then we can go into the graph again and here we can make a similar smooth graph something like this here looks very clean here just add the frame blending here again and the nice part by using speed ramps is that it creates more impact on the beat, especially if you're doing some video with some form of music, which is uh, the majority of uh, all the edits out there. But uh, so you're using some music and there comes a beat and then it just transitions on the beat and looks much cleaner. Now you guys know how to create smooth speed ramps. So now try to continue to do it for a couple of clips to uh, learn and get the point of 
how to create them basically. So now it looks clean here with the speed remapping. We're going to be uh, elevating it even more by adding some pan and crop to this. So how to create that is basically to make a adjustment layer and you do that by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And here you're going to be adding a transform and here I'm just going to be doing a simple clean zoom in zoom out pan and crop here. So we can start off with the scale here, 100. We can also keep from the position. Go to the end here, zoom in a little bit, something like that. Next, zoom out, reposition. And I want the anchor point, which is in the middle here, to be focused on uh, his face. So something like that. Copy the default position in the ending. This looks very sharp right now, but just fix the uh, small panic group first. Then here, this is the frame warping. That's why the frame looks uh, a little bit crazy now. Here we start off with the pan crop settings here, the default ones, zooming in here, something like that. Then next one here, start at the face again. Then reset to default scale and default position. And then in the end, we're going to be zooming in. Now when we have uh, selected our keyframes here, we're going to be marking all of the keyframes, press F9. But now we can select the position uh, keyframe here, go to graph. So this is how it looks now. Uh, we want to change this by right clicking and then go to speed graph. And here to change the speed of the speed graph, you gotta drag the keyframes here up. So we gotta test here a little bit and try with 30,000 very fast. Then we also drag up this one here and this one here as well to something like that. So making this kind of graph is a little bit short, but uh, it works well. The next one, drag them up, make the graph smooth like this here. So continue to do this with the rest of the keyframes here. So it looks something like this now when we play it. Not the best obviously, but that's because we have only been changing the position here. So we can now select the scale keyframes here, graph editor. And here we just right click and go to value graph. Now let's make the smooth graphs here. I'm gonna make it a little bit more smoother. Adjust something like that. Then go to next here, drag it a little bit down like this and then up like that. A little bit sharper it wants it to be. Continue to do the smooth graph here. It looks pretty, pretty clean. And now for one of the most important uh, effects to add here is this motion blur icon here. So just press that one. And now we will start to see some clean results here. Now we can adjust the clips here a little bit by adding transform, just scaling them up. And it's going to look something like this. Looks absolutely beautiful in my opinion. The clean, smooth speed ramp effect here. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I really think this is a like really, really clean effect to uh, use for your edits or music videos or whatever you guys are using it for. It's very, very nice and clean. And as I said earlier, just updated my Grunge preset pack, which includes over 25 premium Grunge presets, which looks absolutely incredible. I mean, absolutely incredible, not gonna lie here. Like. So to check them out, it's going to be a link in the description down below. Other than that, take care and have a nice day.